and welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today we are going to be walking through the makings of this beautiful rainbow art piece on wood. Now it is the second week of the August Abstract Boss challenges for you to win an award. So make sure you click the link in my Facebook group below to find out more and let's get started. All right, so today is rainbow and I had a severely failed attempt underneath this. So I sanded it down, re-leveled, and now I'm gonna do another pour. And I am working with Patty's Pigments, light yellow, crystal violet, and pumpkin orange. And then the rest are all May spring. I have olive gold, mermaid dust, which is probably my favorite color of all time and then Pacific Blue and Wine Red. So these are all the colors I'm working with. I tried to do kind of like an actual rainbow on this one. And if you want to watch that, I'll put like a super condensed time lapse at the end of this video. So you can fast forward to that after you watch this. But this is week two of the August challenges. So we have rainbow and then um, I believe the next one is sunset and then we have ocean for uh, the remainder of this month. I think I am gonna add an additional like rule to those because that was popularly voted in my group. If you don't know how to get to my group, it is linked in the description below. I already have my resin mixed up. I'm using the ClearCast 7000. I had just a touch left, so I wanted to go ahead and use the rest of it. And I wanted to show you how little of bubbles it has, even after mixing a lot. And you can see, even with this, I'm mixing very fast, a lot faster than I would mix with um, normal epoxies. This is a casting one, so that makes a big difference as well. And it does still have a lot of micro bubbles in there though. And this is very similar to the 7050. I know I had this question in my comments. Uh, both of them have their benefits though, so make sure that you read the descriptions on what they specifically do, so that way you know whether or not that matches the project that you have in your mind. Um, but you can also get a link to the resin in my description below as well. So I don't wanna work with a lot of yellow. I think that really, uh, the white and the yellow really ruined this one in my opinion, but it is rainbow. So we're challenging ourselves to do a lot of colors, right? Trying to have some, a little bit of every color in the rainbow. And personally, I just didn't like yellow. I don't normally use yellow. I don't really wear yellow. Like I'm not much of a yellow fan. So I think that's kind of also why I just kept fidgeting too much and I totally over fidgeted it did look cool at first. It kind of looked like a rainbow tree of life type thing, but I don't know, wasn't digging it. So now I'm changing up my technique and I'm just gonna make something super abstract and cool like I do with my uh, pony wall video, which if you haven't seen, I freaking love the cap. I think it's amazing. And the gal I made it for really loved it. So that is, um, in right up here, whichever side, <laughs> I'll post that right here. And then I also did a super cool coffee table, which I have not been able to let go because I love it so much. We use it every single day and I'll post that one right here. If you put the powder pigments down at the bottom, just make sure you are mixing extremely well because you don't wanna have any issues with that powdered pigment not mixing enough. So you would still have to get the sides and then make sure that you scrape along the bottom. And then I do let them sit, which is good. I'm working with a lot of colors because I could look back, look at this. You can see how it doesn't mix in until you really work at it. So you wanna make sure that you're really getting all of that. But I like to let it sit because sometimes um, mixing like this will release that powder and let it float to the top and then you'll know and you can remix. Isn't that seriously the most beautiful color? This is definitely my favorite. And then this is a really pretty 
cobalt blue as well. This is the Pacific one. And this is really pretty too. I'm not normally a, a blue gal, but my husband is. This is his favorite color. So he really liked this one. And then this purple is another one of my favorites. This one I got from Patty's Pigments. I haven't found another comparable purple, um, which by comparable, I mean like super deep. I did get a couple on my way from Illumidust and I'm gonna give those a try, or Illumilite, they're called Illumidust and I'm gonna give those a try and see if um, I enjoy that purple. But just trying to look at all my options. Normally they're just kind of a pretty purple, uh, but they're not royal, like a super deep purple. So if you guys have one you recommend, leave it in the comments below. That would be fantastic. All right, now that you know all the products and my tips and tricks for mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you through the process of making this next beautiful art piece. If I have something that kind of pops up along the way, I'll make sure to come back in on the video and give you some insight. Oh, also, I absolutely love these little mixing sticks. I got them from Amazon and you get a huge package. Um, so it ends up being way cheaper than getting the bigger popsicle sticks and utilizes a lot less material. So for when you're mixing these smaller amounts of resin, it is perfect. So I laid out my yellow just to kind of give myself a little outline of how I want the rest of the colors to flow. You know what, I actually think I'm gonna pull back in my Resi Blast because it's really cool to watch how the Resi Blast reacts when things like this happen um, and it creates some extra like cells and effects.
All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you loved the new artwork or if you actually preferred the fail, what I thought was a fail. I personally did not like it and my husband didn't like it either and both of us agree that this one is significantly better. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I can't wait to see what you guys create with your rainbow artworks this week and I'll catch you all next time. Have a great day everyone.